Hello YouTube, it's Learn123 again, reviewing a new handgun that I got. Well, it's new to me. I got it used for 90 bucks. So first, uh, safety, let's make sure this thing's unloaded. Oh, let's check that chamber real quick. No rounds in there. Okay. So, we can be satisfied the gun's unloaded. This is a Phoenix Arms HP-22A. It's a 10-shot staggered magazine 22 handgun holds 10 rounds in there these guns are made of a zinc aluminum alloy and they are pretty reliable by reports i would recommend this gun for concealed carry on a budget these guns are the result of a culmination of decades of research of cheap handguns going back to the ring of fire lorson jennings jimenez Brico, firearms companies that were known for making very bad cheap handguns. And this is the first really good cheap 22 handgun that I've ever seen that almost everybody likes this gun. That being said, this gun has a lot of safeties on it. Some of them are a pain in the neck and that's why I would carry this with a round chambered in half cock and not utilize any of the other safeties. Here's the first thing I don't like about this gun. The safeties are off here. Okay. But I can't set I can't set the slide lock with the magazine out. I hate that about this gun. And upon some research I found out that there are some modifications that can be done to make this firearm more intuitively controlled. So Let's lock the slide back. Wow, look at that unnecessary pain in the neck. Okay. So, uh, also we can't release the slide without the magazine in it. Now, some other things I don't like about this weapon. I'm not sure if this is a safety or a decocker because I didn't get a manual with mine. So, let's see what happens if I put this on. Does it fire? It appears that it would fire. Okay. What if I, can I cock it like this? You cannot cock it with this safety up like that. You can put it in the half cock, but you can't fully cock it. So I put it back in fire, I can cock the weapon. And please, make sure your weapon's definitely unloaded before you do anything like this. So let's cock that again, put it on safe. You see that? I don't like that. I don't like to rely on something that that feels like it could just go off at any moment. So probably the best way to carry this weapon is to load up a full magazine, chamber around, okay? Then pop your magazine out, put another round in, return the magazine, very carefully let the hammer forward and make sure that it stops in that half cock position. So let's take a look at the different hammer positions. Fully cocked, fully forward, and half cock. This way you can keep a round in the chamber and then all you have to do in times of danger is cock that hammer and fire. This gun, I took it to the range, it shoots very reliably, very accurately for what it is. One thing I like about this is the windage adjustable sights. Most cheap handguns don't have that. So let's do a field strip on this, shall we? And the hammer has to be back. Now be very careful when you start to field strip this because you have to retain a spring with your finger. Okay. So you don't lock the slide back or anything like that. Do you see this clip right here? How it moves? You see that? See it moving? Okay, so the first thing you do is you slide that forward and you hold it forward. You lift the barrel with this hand slightly and you stick your finger in here and press downward. There's a spring that will fly out of there if you don't do that. Spring pressure. Oh, look, the spring flew out. This is why you have to hold it with your finger. So now that you have the gun in this position, 
slide, bring that slide all the way back, and the barrel rotates on a carriage pin in here. Okay, Let's see if I can show you. See that pin right there? This block, that lug on the barrel slides on to that pin. Now we can let the slide forward. There's another thing, modern firearms, I don't know why their rails, the slide rails are so short, but these are the rails. Now some people are saying this gun can soldier on through five, eight, ten thousand rounds. So I was really happy to get one. So now we remove the recoil spring and this takedown switch which also doubles as kind of a guide rod and spring retainer. To reassemble this firearm, you just reverse the process. Now this retaining clip and takedown pin has to enter at an angle. To get under this bar. Then make sure that the takedown clip is in its proper channel here. Then we put the spring in, making sure that the spring ends are not on the top or the bottom to avoid developing reliability issues, creating burrs on the frame and slide. Okay, so the spring end is on the side not the top or the bottom and now now I do this okay now I have to sit the slide down before these rails and then I now I have to hold this spring down with my finger as I bring the slide back then I hold the gun in place like this and remember that bar remember that bar here we just hook the barrel onto that bar You'll feel it kind of snap into place if you've done it correctly. And something else you'll also notice on the barrel is there's this slight 45 degree angle right here that helps you get the proper angle. I need to bring the slide back a little bit further. So once it pops in there, did you hear that? Once it pops in like that, we can start letting the slide forward. We let it forward more and more and more. And then it comes right back together. Okay? And just make sure that that clip's in the rear position and you're fine. You're fine after that. And now this gun is field stripped and reassembled. And there you have it. A lot of safeties, but a reliable, affordable choice for a concealed carry weapon. This is Learn123 signing out. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Click that bell in the top right corner.